So I got, uh, I mean, sorry, the sun's in my eyes. It's just coming up. Well, it's been up for about an hour kind of, but uh, <clears throat> got here last night. And then by the time I filtered water and got firewood and ate and got changed and set up camp and everything, there was really no light left. It got dark at about seven o'clock. <clears throat> it's the next morning, got up on my second coffee. So I'm all good. Uh, I've had breakfast and uh, just take a walk down to the lake and sit there for a little while but uh so mr f who was originally so originally there was the plan was there was going to be five of us and we're going to be here from friday till monday then two guys backed out <clears throat> so it was going to be three of us from friday till monday one guy said mr f said that he was going to leave sunday uh instead of monday and then mrs ken adventure i'm pretty sure she's got a kidney stone so she thought maybe look at that view eh Oh man, that's why I love this place. Anyway, she uh, she's pretty sure she's got a kidney stone, so uh, she backed out. So then it was going to be me and Mr. F, and then he ran into some issues, and he's actually uh, instead of coming up with me yesterday, he's coming up today. He'll probably be here about one, and then he's going to pack up and leave early tomorrow morning. So he's looking at about probably twelve hours of driving for less than twenty four hours here, but um, it's worth it. This place rocks. Anyway, so it's starting to warm up a little bit now. It was a little chilly last night. Um, the setup I've got in the tent works really well. Um, I'm kind of cheating. I've got a sleeping bag that's rated for minus nine. It got down to about zero minus one last night. But uh, what I do is I take a couple of uh, hot shots, you know, those hand warmer things, these, and I throw them in the foot box of the sleeping bag, keep my feet a little toasty. Um, and I also have, it's actually for work, but uh, it works great here. Uh, is a Milwaukee heated jacket. Uh, the battery lasts more than a night. I can charge it with one of my portable power banks and uh, I just keep one of the, it's got two heating elements in it. I just keep one of them on low and uh, between that and Long Johns, I'm good to go. I actually, I, uh, I didn't want to get out of the sleeping bag this morning because I could feel the air was a little cold. Anyway, um, so I have, as usual, made an absolute mess of the campsite. I do this everywhere I go. I just, I take up all the available space. I spread everything out. I don't know. It's what I do. I've gotten used to what other people have as well. At least some have. Uh, Mrs. Ken Adventure, maybe not so much, but she's put up with it for quite a while. So I think she's she's come to terms with it anyway. <clears throat> but uh, so we're hoping Mr. F doesn't get lost. If he does, uh, he's going to shoot me a, a text over the, uh, the Garmin inReach. Um, there's no cell service here, so it's kind of the only form of communication I have with anybody. It works really well by the way um yeah and then i'm gonna have to try and go find him either way um i'll be getting on the bike a little bit today and then uh i don't know i might pack up tomorrow i think i'm probably going to just so calling for rain like sunday evening into monday morning i don't want to pack up in the rain it was chilly enough on the way up here uh but the wind on the bike it gets gets cold after being on it for seven or eight hours um so i'll probably pack up head home tomorrow take uh some new trails took some new trails yesterday uh, found some that I really like. I'll be taking those on the way up here probably from now on instead of the old way I used to take. And uh, see if I can, if I have time today, I'm going to kind of explore around the area, try and hit the uh, the KMP trail, which isn't far from here, and uh, loop back around. But we'll see how it goes. Until then, I'm um, just going to enjoy this. So you can't see anything, it's all washed out by the sun. But uh, enjoy this wonderful view, the sounds of nature, and uh, probably another coffee.